the Mayans were particularly good at math and science. They believe the sun itself was a god, and so to understand it better they studied it intensely. The first clue to the Maya writing was the numbers. The Maya established their units based on man's 20 digits. They were one of only four civilizations to develop the concept of zero. Numbers were put in different positions. Dots were worth one. One, two, three, four, and five was a bar. Fifteen is three bars. Nineteen is three bars and four dots. Twenty is one dot in the higher position with a shell for zero below. A dot above with a dot below is 21. A dot above with a bar below is 25. Two dots above means two twenties, or 40. A bar in the upper position means five twenties, 100. A dot with two zeros below is 400. A dot with three zeros below is 8,000. 8,421. The Mayan math system is actually pretty cool. It is built around the number 20, because that's how many fingers and toes you have. Seriously. We use only 10 numbers, 0 through 9, but they use 20. However, they use only 2 symbols, 3 if you count 0, to make those 20 numbers. Awesome. This advanced system allowed them to do very complex math problems. Adding and subtracting were very easy using their numbers. Because it was built around the number 20 we call this a base 20 system. Our system then is called base 10. The Mayans also were one of the first western cultures to understand the concept of zero. I know it seems obvious how zero works, but it is actually pretty complicated. The Romans didn't use his and that's why they had such weird numbers. Man the Mayans were cool. Here's some of the words for the Mayan numbers. Notice how they count by twenties, and not by tens as we probably would. This math and science work together to help the Mayans create a very accurate calendar. Their calendar was actually two calendar wheels that work together. One wheel was scientifically measured and broke the year up into 365.2 days which is really close to what scientists now believe. They Mayans were incredible at predicting the movements of planets based on this calendar. The second calendar was 260 days and was based on the Mayan religion. The two calendars spun together like gears, and whenever they matched up in a certain way it would begin a special religious year. The Maya calendar was unlike any other. These great gears illustrate their concept of time. The hieroglyphs on the larger wheel mark the 365 days of the solar year. Those on the two smaller gears represent the 260 days of the priest's sacred calendar. Together, this Maya time machine identifies the astrological significance of every single day. Using this calendar, Maya priests predicted the precise time and place of solar eclipses. For the average Maya, it must have seemed as if their leaders controlled the awesome power of the heavens. The accuracy of Maya astronomy still astounds. The cycles of the moon were mapped so precisely that today, 1500 years later, their calculations are off by only 33 seconds. Even the moment of Maya creation, some 5,000 years ago, is a fixed point in the sacred calendar. Forbiddingly, so too is the end of this world. According to the Maya calendar, this cycle of creation will cease to exist 
At precisely four, ahau, three, Ken Ken. Sunday, December 23rd, 2012. The main use of the calendar was to know when to plant crops. Planting them at the right time helped them grow quickly. It was also used to know when to do religious rituals. The Mayans believed that sacrifices had to be done at just the right time. Also, interestingly, the Mayan calendar seems to imply that this world will end in December 2012. Remember though the calendar is a circle, so it starts again after that point. Hey, that is pretty funny. Maybe we shouldn't be so worried about the world ending. The Mayans had very unique forms of architecture. They made pyramids which were supposed to represent the mountains that man was created on or something like that. They built many pyramids. Most major cities had one. These pyramids were used as tombs for the great Mayan kings. They also supposedly were gates to the underworld. The homes of the common people were made out of adobe which is kind of like clay. Many of the houses were brightly painted and most were decorated with carvings and sculptures. They wanted their buildings to look good. Building in semi-tropical environments with rudimentary materials was a unique challenge, especially when the goal was to build vertically using Stone Age technology. Most of the technology that we associate with big stone constructions were unknown to the Maya. They did not have beasts of burden. They didn't have metal tools. What the Maya did have was a virtually unlimited supply of malleable limestone and a great deal of manpower. Your labor was one of the things that you were required to give to the king on an annual basis. Blocks of limestone were quarried and then pushed, pulled, or carried by sheer force to the construction site. They used something that we call the tump line, and this is a rope that would pass around the forehead and in that they could carry literally at times hundreds of pounds of debris level by level the pyramid was built skyward wooden scaffolding supported the laborers and the structure as it expanded skilled masons shaped the limestone with stone tools and wooden mallets though the interior was filled with unrefined rubble the exterior was deceivingly manicured covered in a strong mortar known as Maya stucco and painted red. Even though they knew of the wheel, even though they knew of metal, they elected not to make practical use of either of these things. And I think in part, it was because in their worldview, something was much more valuable if a lot of human labor went into it. Amazingly, the Mayans did all this without any large animals like horses to help them. That means every rock they had to move was moved using only human power. They also did it without using wheels or iron tools. It seems the Mayans knew about both things, but chose not to use them for some reason. Some people argue, like the video just said, that human labor was worth more to the gods, so the Mayans didn't want any shortcuts. Whatever the reason, everything was built using an insane amount of human labor, 